Good day, Mr. Sofia, and today my groomies and I are going to present about our company, Gourmeka, and also our product, Yao Yao, for your 365. I'll first talk about the business overview and point out the important highlights. Firstly, I want to mention that the name behind Froyo 365 actually derives from the idea that this product is something you must have every day and all year long. The Yao Yao Froyo 365 machine is actually an innovative product that serves frozen yogurt instantly in the comfort of your own home. It is also currently the first yogurt machine in the market that offers pre-made capsule to ease up, enhance, and satisfy our customers. Now, what is the problem? The concept of electronic yogurt machine is actually known in the European country, but there is a huge opportunity gap that is growing globally and has not been discovered or introduced in Malaysia. And also, why is there no easy or convenient way to make frozen yogurt? Most yogurt machines out there are traditional and it requires you to buy ingredients to prep it yourself. So that is why Gomeka saw the opportunity and launched the Yao Yao Froyo 365 because it offers a short prep time and convenience with the intervention of our pre-made capsule. Moving on to the vision and vision. Our vision is to simply be known for the best and the first yogurt machine in the market. And we also aim to have one Yao Yao Froyo 365 in each home. Our mission is to create an enlightening experience for a consumer to enjoy with their loved ones without the need to compromise health because we offer high quality, all natural, low fat yogurt production. Next, our current key objectives. Because we are the pioneer of Froyo machine and capsule in the market, so our priority is to introduce and educate the public, focusing on increasing the sales and profitability and eventually moving on to expansion to international market and achieve our mission. I'll now pass on my time to Charlene. Thank you. Now, I will be presenting on our product design development plan. Our product is Yao Yao Froyo 365. It is just the size of a normal juice blender, so we can store it in the cabinet after using it. Other than that, it only costs 499 ringgit, which comes together with a 3 years warranty. Of course, we have also come with an extended warranty package, so the customers can add on 60 ringgit to extend the warranty to 5 years. If the machine is not functioning properly, they can send it to any Yao Yao's outlet or authorized premium supermarket and the repair usually will take around 2-3 to three weeks. Next, compared to our competitor's product, Yao Yao Froyo 365 machine only takes 5 minutes to prepare a cup of frozen yogurt, while our competitor's product could take up 20 to 40 minutes. So, the consumers do not have to spend too long waiting for the frozen yogurt to be done. Furthermore, we found out that a lot of consumers have a perception that a high technology machine is very complicated or very hard to operate. So, our machine is buttonless, which means that all mode can be adjusted through the selection wheel. For example, push the selection wheel to the left to turn off the machine, push to the right to turn on the machine. And also, when we push the selection wheel to the middle, the machine will be set in the standby mode, which will last for 3 minutes. If the machine is not being operated within these 3 minutes, the selection wheel will be slided to the left in order to turn off the machine. Next, Yoyo Yo Froyo 365 doesn't require any complicated steps to make your frozen yogurt. Firstly, take out the capsule holder and insert the capsule. Secondly, place the capsule holder back to the machine, slide the selection wheel to the right and wait for 5 minutes. And finally, you can enjoy your frozen yogurt effortlessly. So, what happens if the indicator light turns red? Normally, there are two conditions that will turn the light red. It's either the locking handle is uplifted or the capsule holder is not being inserted into the machine. If the red light is still on, please send the machine to any Yao Yao for your 365 authorized outlet. And how does our Yao Yao for your 365 capsule work? Firstly, a tube in the machine will connect to the hole on the capsule cap. Once it connects, the rotating meter in the capsule will spin in the high speed to make the yogurt fruity and freeze faster. Then, the machine will also make a hole at the bottom of the capsule in order for the frozen yogurt to be ejected smoothly. Other than the iconic original flavor, another 5 fruity flavors will be introduced, which are strawberry, blueberry, mango, peach, and kiwi. 
For our product, the main competitors are Gomia and Kusin Art. For Gomia's product, it costs around 333 ringgit and comes together with a one year warranty. It takes a bit long, around 40 minutes to prepare frozen yogurt. Regarding its user friendliness, the machine is required to be perfectly installed but it offers customization, which means the consumers can customize the flavors of, of their frozen yogurt. For Cuisine Art, it costs around 290 ringgit and comes together with a 3 years warranty. Next, it takes around 20 minutes to prepare frozen yogurt. Compared to Gomia, the machine is very easy to assemble and also offer customization of frozen yogurt as well. The first supplier to produce the Yao Yao Froyo 365 machine is Hiking Electric Appliance from China. Besides, Younger Crops International Trade will be the backup supplier if the first supplier is unable to produce the machines. Since we are partnered up with Yao Yao, they will supply us the frozen yogurt capsule as they are the beneficiary owner of the recipe. And it will be stored at Yao Yao Warehouse in Petaling Jaya and distributed to the outlets nationwide. Next, I will pass the presentation to Carrie. Now I'm going to talk about industry overview. So now I'm going to talk about opportunity in industry. There are four opportunities that I want to talk about. For the first point, as the market becomes more aware about various health issues, the consumption of yogurt has increased as it is considered as a nutrition supplementation. Health benefits, which yogurt has have majority contributed to the growth in global demand for the yogurt industry, so that yogurt has become an essential part of consumers' lifestyle. For the second point, according to Future Market Insight, the global yogurt market at $86.9 billion now expects it bring in $232.1 billion revenues by the end of 2026. For the third point, consumers are often attracted towards electronic yogurt machine that could help lessen the burden in the process of yogurt making. In the world of innovators, many tech companies have made advancement in yogurt, uh, yogurt machine products to update the concept of yogurt machine to eliminate consumers' effort. For the last point, the demand for the electronic yogurt makers have been rising in the commercial sector, such as hotels and restaurants, as they have to serve the yogurt with various dishes. So now I'm going to talk about key target market segments. There are two key targets, which is primary audience and secondary audience. Let me explain primary audience first. Key demographics will be Selangor, age range will be 35 to 49. Gender will be male 55%, female will be 45%. Income level will be middle to upper class. Key psychographic will be value relationship and spending quality time with family by doing home activities. For the second audience, key demographic will be Selango, which is same as primary audience. Age range will be 30 to 50. Gender will be male 50%, female will be 50%. Income level also same as primary audience, which is middle to upper class. There are three key psychographics. First, have healthy lifestyle and craves for something sweet once in a while. Second, working people who are occupied with work and seek convenience. For the last point, employees who enjoy work lifestyle balance. Moving on to the marketing strategy. In this part, I will cover the different promotional program and marketing plan that is going to be implemented. Before diving into it, the unique selling point that is different from the competitors is that Yao Yao Froyo 365 are able to serve a cup of healthy dessert instantly because we offer the first ever pre-made frozen yogurt capsule in the market. Moving on to the promotional plan, we will be introducing a monthly subscription plan for our capsule and there will be 6 capsules sold in a box for the normal price of RM55. However, if the customer decides to purchase the machine along with the capsule subscription, there will be a promotional price sold at 35 ringgit per box. We will also be utilizing festivity seasons like CNY Valentine's to push our sales for the occasion. All these promotional updates will be updated in our website in the promotional tab. Next, the marketing plan. We will be executing seven different initiatives in the initial stage. And the first initiative is Billboard Rental, 
we will be aiming to increase our brand awareness and this billboard design will be placed at three strategic locations in KL. We plan to start this as a pre-launch until June next year. And the second marketing plan is social media marketing. Different type of content will be posted on popular social media and a sum of budget will be allocated to each of these platforms to ensure that we achieve our target reach and to have enough online engagement with the communities. And these are our main platform. We have our Instagram profile, Facebook profile, following by our Twitter profile and TikTok profile. Charlene will now explain the rest of the marketing plan. Thank you, Stacey. Next, I'm going to talk about the influencer marketing. As in our plan, we are going to invite four social media influencers who are Steffi Situ, Dan Ku, Rachel Yo, and Jeannie Boy to promote our products because their personalities are more into fitness, lifestyle, family, and food. So, what they need to do are just posting two Insta story and three posts featuring our products. In order to spark their interest in our products, we will be giving them 1000 ringgit cash and Yao Yao for your 365 machines and the capsules. Moving on to Google AdWord, we have also planned to place our advertisement on Google, which aims to sustain the brand awareness. We will be utilizing some of these keywords, which helps to ensure Gomeka is the first option when consumers search for the selected words. Besides, we will also advertise online in Malaysia's top 10 magazine, which will complement with Yao Yao for your 365. However, the cost will be around 1700 for 6 months. We will also consider joining the For Your Virtual Event space to reach out to our target audience and expand the opportunity of the product. And this event would cost around 500 to 800 ringgit per day. Lastly, we will have in-store marketing in all Yao Yao outlets in Malaysia where each outlet will be provided with two posters for display for a year from the launch date. So, here is the example of the poster that will be displayed in every Yao Yao outlet. Furthermore, we will be distributing this product to different channels. One of it will be the Yao Yao outlet. As in our plan, all outlets will be supplied with 20 machines and all flavors of capsules. Next, we will also distribute 10 machines per month to 35 Jaya Grocer outlets and also 19 cold storage outlets. Lastly, we will also offer an option to purchase online through Shopee and Lazada. However, there would be a 2% transaction fee for Shopee and 6% commission rate applied for Lazada. Next, I will pass the presentation back to Stacy again. I will now talk about the operation plan. Because Gromeka is an independent entity separate from its parent company, Yao Yao, we will have our own business unit and management structure. The organization structure for the company is illustrated in this chart. Majority of the share will be owned by the CEO, which is 30%, following by the CFO and the CMO 20% each, and the COO and the CHRO 15% each. Moving on to the key personnel, the important person to hire and keep the business running are mostly from this department. The operation, accountant, marketing, PR, HR, Sales Executive for Online and Offline Team, Business Development Executive, Operation Executive, Account Executive, two warehouse keepers and four truck drivers to ensure the functionality of the company. I'll now pass my time on to Kayun to explain the financial plan. Now moving on to the financial plan. So the first one will be revenue stream of Gomeka. There are three revenue streams. The first one will be loyal customer of Yao Yao. Gomeka is collaborating with Yao Yao and loyal customers are likely to give themselves a try and spend money in purchasing for your 3 sets 5 machine because they already have a trust in Yao Yao brand. So the second one will be returning customers of Yao Yao for your 3 sets 5 machines. So compared to the first time buyers, returning customer will contribute to Gomeka profit because of the satisfaction and the value that the brand is able to provide. So it means that customers are willing to spend or even recommend it to their social circles. The third one 
will be suspicious revenue models. So this model entires offering Gomeka customer the product which is the capsules that the customer can pay for over a long period of time, usually month to month or even year to year. So it can generate recurring revenue and can even benefit from customers who are simply too lazy to cancel their subscription to Gomeka. So next one will be sources of finance. So the first one will be debt finance. Debt finance involves the borrowing of money and paying it back with the interest. So the most common form of debt financing is bank loan. This is because the lender has no control over his or her business. So for Gomez Car, the company has applied 250k business loan financing from Maybank. So the Second one will be equity finance. So equity financing is the process of raising capitals through the sales of shares. The company has less risk with the equity financing because they do not have any fixed money loan payment to make. So this could also help with the startup business that may not have a positive cash flow during the early months. So for Gomez Car, 100k from the estimate cost of starting business, 500k, are contributed from partner as opening capitals. So now moving on to the break even points formula calculations. So break even points in units equals to fixed cost divided by selling price per unit minus cost per unit. So we can get 1,593 per unit. So it means that from this break even points calculations, Gomeka will need to sell 1,593 units of Yao Yao for your 3 machine and capsules to break even. So now moving on to the 3 years worth of projection. So to be transparent to the investor, so it will be include uh money cash flow, annual cash flow, uh income statement and also the financial statements. So the first one will be money cash flow. So from this money cash flow statement we can see that at the end of the cash flow we can get eight hundred and ninety one K which means that uh Gomeka is a healthy business because it's a generating a profit not a loss in these cash flow statements so moving on to the next one will be annual cash flow statement we can see that uh gomeka is i mean like generating profit in this from year one to year three this is because from the cash cash flow from investing activity uh investing activity is remain the same so and the net profit is increasing every year so from the annual cash flow we can also see that in the next three years the Gometa business is also a healthy business so moving on to the income statements so from the income statement we can see that the profit is increasing from year one to year three this is because the sales of the machine is also increasing. For the year one will be uh Gomeka is going to sell the machine is two thousand units and year two will increase to three thousand units of the machines and year three will be three thousand and five hundred units of the machines. And the reason why the profit is increasing every year, one of the reasons is the sales is increasing and another reason is because the expenses of Gomeka is remain so it means that once the sales is increasing but the expenses is uh, remain uh, it means that we can get the money we can get more money to cover the expenses and we got uh, more money to maybe like invest other to do other investment so now moving on to the balance, balance sheets, which is also known as the financial statement. Well, we can see that the fixed assets plus the current assets is more than the liabilities, which is long-term liabilities and the 
short-term liabilities. So it means that for the next three years, uh, Gomeka is able to, I mean, generate profit and also got able to, I mean, pay all the liabilities in the future because their assets is more than their liabilities. So now moving on to the growth plan of the business expansions. So for the first years, uh, Gomeka is going to sell Yao Yao for your 3 sets of machine on the international marketplaces such as Amazon, eBay and more to start generating revenue from customers outside the Malaysia by extending access to the Yao Yao for your 3 sets of machine to international customers Gomeka will add millions of potential new customers who have not yet had the chance to buy the Yao Yao for your 3 sets of machines. And for the year 2, expansion probably is the best option when the current business location is vitally important to the employee and also the customers. But special attention needs to be made to ensure that there is a an adequate room for the expansion process. When undergoing a renovation program, Gomeka can reconfigure internal office space designed to accommodate more personnel in the same physical space. Because this allows the business to take advantage of the benefit of existing space. And for the year 3, Gomeka may expand the product line or add some features to increase its sales and the profit. When Gomeka employs a product expansion strategy, also known as the product development, the company will continue selling within the existing markets. So a product expansion growth strategy often works well when technology starts to change. So Gomeka can also add new products to the market when the older ones become outmoded. So here is our presentation. Thank you so much for listening.